Today is Diabetes is Primary. It is a, an additional meeting at the scientific sessions and it is for primary care providers by primary care providers. And so it's a whole day of high impact material to help people with their daily practices. So what we think is so important uh, with Diabetes is Primary is that the majority of people with diabetes are treated by primary care providers. So these are really the people in the front line of managing diabetes. And so a, a Congress that's focused on their needs and, and things that they do really I hope will have big impact for patient care. We have a great number of topics we're covering at Diabetes is Primary today. So we have diabetes on a budget, we have insulin therapy, how to be effective with that, how to treat the older patient with diabetes, an update in ADA guidelines. So there are a number of updates in 2016 guidelines. Some of the kind of key ones that they, we talked about today in Diabetes is Primary is updates in the treatment of obesity, individualization of care, and then also highlighting some of the um, new cardiovascular relevant events and features of the treatments and the disease. The providers who come today, I hope that they're able to implement new skills in their exams for their patients, find new efficiencies in their practice that make time, which is so precious in the, in the care of people with diabetes, more efficient, and then also get a little bit of more information about the new medications and how they can be placed in the treatment of diabetes. So if you were not able to attend the diabetes primary sessions this year, they are made available by webcast at the diabetes.org professional site. Um, they're free to, and open to the public, and they're excellent recordings of what we did, and they, be, they are updated each year. So you could watch the, the webcast this year and attend next year. The Primary Care Advisory Committee is so grateful for the ADA's effort to reach out to primary care providers and make sure that they get the resources they need, because they are really the ones in the front line managing diabetes.